Hello and thank you for joining gapsfix.com. Fix your Google Apps today. This is Goldie again and in today's lesson we will set up Google Apps email at your one and onecom hosted domain. For this we will be creating or changing MX records at your one and onecom control panel and point them to Google Apps. Before we move ahead with system implementation it's better to understand the requirements. To do this, we should have access to our one and onecom control panel where we will be making all the required changes. We should also have access to our Google Apps control panel and few minutes to watch this video. Let us now set up Google Apps MX Rackets at your one and onecom domain. To create MX Rackets, I have logged into my Google Apps control panel. In case if you don't know how to do this, I recommend you to watch our other tutorials to understand your login options with Google Apps. Once you're in Control Panel, click on Setup tab. Under Setup, click on Set up your apps and then Gmail, Set up Gmail. Click on Next and we will be clicking on oneand1.com here because that's the DNS where our domain is hosted and we will click on next to get the instructions to create MX records and point them to Google. We will copy the mail server address one by one and we will go to our DNS of one and onecom We will select the domain and then edit DNS settings. We will scroll down a bit and under mail exchanger MX Rackets, we will be clicking on other mail server which is Google Apps and in first one we will paste the first mail server of Google Apps and give it a priority of let's say 10. We will go back to our Google Apps control panel and pick the second one. Copy this and let's go back, paste it here. And the second one and let's take the priority 20. Third one it will be as same as it is my mail exchanger as you see in one in one control panel. So we'll come back and pick the fourth one. Copy it. Go back to control panel of one in one. Let's give it a priority of 30 and let's Come back to Google Apps, pick the last one, copy the mail server address and paste it in the fourth entry and let's give the value of 40. Once we do that, press OK. Now it may take some time uh, to reflect these changes. In the meantime, let us come back to Google, click on Next and let Google be aware that we have made these changes so that Google can check the changes which we have made and once these changes are reflected our email can be set up. So I'm going to pause this video here as it's going to take some time and I'll get back once Google will verify our MX records.